What is up Sagittarius? Welcome to your weekly general timeless reading. I'm going to be doing these readings a little different this week just because as most of you know, I move in two days. So things are a little crazy. I'm going to be doing a jumper spread, technically kind of past, present, future with uh, Crystal Visions Tarot and Sun and Moon Tarot. All the tarot decks I use are going to be linked down below in the description box for you guys. You know the drill, you want a personal reading or a Reiki session because I'm a master Reiki practitioner, you can book it down below through my website description box. Also, if you want to become a Patreon, the 1st of November is coming up really quickly and Patreon always charges on the 1st regardless of your sign up date. So if that's something you're interested in becoming a part of, I highly recommend signing up on the, at the beginning of the month. Um, if you sign up on the 1st, you will not get double charged. That's a very common question I get. You will not get double charged because that's just your sign up date. So you're perfectly fine. But those readings are getting very spiritual because collectively we're going through an awakening. So I would love to have you as part of that family because the readings are getting intense. Um, but they've been really cool. So other than that, happy Halloween. I hope everybody's going to have an awesome uh, Hunter's Blue Moon on the 31st, that full moon in Taurus we have. That is in two days because it is the 29th today. But Sag, let's get into it. Let's see what's going on. I'm only gonna pull five to seven cards for the reading today, just for the sake of time, because things are a little crazy in my world right now with the move, okay? I still got a little bit of packing to do. But if you guys can like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. The thumbs up actually helps the channel grow. So if you could do that, I'd appreciate it. Let's see what's going on for Sagittarius, please do it. What is up with fire signs and like all this cat imagery? That's a lot of like mystic imagery. Leo and Sag had a lot of cat imagery. Sagittarius, you're having like a lot of um, like tiger, specifically tiger, whereas Leo had just like a black cat with like bright yellow eyes. Actually a lot, uh, reminded me a lot of bass. Sag, you just have like, they keep just showing me a tiger tail flipping, like flicking back and forth like very like like just flicking like I can't even say like almost like it's ticked off <laughs> you know cats like flick their tail like it's ready to like kind of pounce <laughs> what's going on with you Sag but it feels playful at the same time I think Sag you're just ready for this new cycle let's see Knight of Cups I like that energy Pisces energy I think you're ready for the new cycle. Four of Swords, Libra energy. Then we have the Ten of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. This is being ready to drop the cycle. That's very ready to move forward energy. It's kind of like, okay, my heart's ready. I'm ready. Yeah. And then we have the Sun. You're very ready to move forward. I love it. Sorry, this hurricane. Sorry about the table too, guys. I, I know I'm just apologizing left and right. <laughs> it's a lot of noise right now. It's echoing a lot. <laughs> Show me what I need to see for Sag. Okay, so let's go over this really quick. So with the Knight of Cups and the Four of Swords, this is a lot of I'm ready to move forward, I've done my healing, my heart space is open, I'm ready to go after what I truly desire. Pisces energy with the Knight of Cups, Four of Swords, Libra energy. Meanwhile, this feels more like the current past energy. This feels like where you know you're going. It's like, okay, Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, I'm ready to drop the cycle, I'm ready to end it, I'm ready to close it out, and I'm ready to pursue what my heart, soul, purpose is, okay? That's what these two energies are. Ten of Wands, Sag, Two of Pentacles, Capricorn. And I feel like this is the outcome. The sun, Leo energy, a lot of abundance, a lot of happiness. I'm very excited for this. Okay, this feels like um, actual partnership though. This is the first reading I've actually felt romance with. I do feel romance around the sun card for some reason. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look at this 10 of wands. Four of pentacles. And the Seven of Swords. You might have realized that you were holding on to the cycle for too long in the past. 
holding on to it for too long. This does feel, okay, yeah, this is definitely a past energy. This is an older energy. This actually might've been a person you were holding on to for too long. It might've been like a lost cause energy with the Seven of Swords, Aquarius, and the Four of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Let's look at the Two of Pentacles. I wanna see why you dropped whatever this Ten of Wands was. Okay, I'm feeling like a betrayal energy with this though. This feels very romantic all of a sudden. Four of Wands, here, there we go. So it could have been a commitment, it could have been a relationship with somebody with the Four of Wands, because that is indicative of partnership, marriage even. What do we got here? Ace of Wands, interesting. This person might have might be trying to come back for a second chance though. Aw, oh, don't tell me that's who this Knight of Cups is now. Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands, Aries energy. It could also be Leo or Sag with this Ace of Wands, though. This is the first reading that feels like love. I can't shake it. Everybody else has been very spiritual. This feels like a love reading. And you guys know me. I typically don't focus on any particular topic. I just leave it up an open channel to source. Yep. So this Knight of Cups is just not willing to move forward into a different cycle is really what this feels like. And that's what this Four of Pentacles is. That's what's going on here. So this is your person taking over your reading, um, or it could also be you. So take it as it resonates because energies can be reversed. If you're new to tarot, check out how to interpret tarot as a reader, as a viewer, not as a reader. Woo, sorry. Um, but this is starting to feel more and more like it's your person taking over the reading. So with this 10 of wands energy, this could be your person not willing to let go of this connection. And that's what's self-deceptive with the four of pentacles. That's a lot of resistance from letting go. That's someone who's holding on to something that needs to be dropped. Right. And what needs to be dropped is this connection, but there they are coming back with this idea of a new beginning with this ace of wands. Right. Because on top of this Knight of Cups, we do have the Six of Swords in reverse. Like, oh, well, I can't move forward. I can't move forward into a new cycle because I'm too busy pursuing you. Yeah. Because it's almost like they, they assume that if I pursue you, that's how I get my happiness. But it's not. They're probably struggling to achieve this happiness, this love within themselves, and they're looking for it externally. Yep, Five of Swords, Conflict, Aquarius energy. Between the Five of Swords and the Six of Swords is an Ace of Swords energy. Their association with you or your association with them, depending on who is whatever energy, you take it as it resonates. But whoever this Knight of Cups is, this approach towards the other person for their happiness, for their son, is a lie because, and that's what the Ace of Swords is between the Five and the Six of Swords here. That energy at present. <clears throat> It's a lie because the happiness they're seeking, the validation they're seeking from this person, they should actually be seeking it within themselves. And that's the only reason they're looking for it externally is because they don't know how to find it within them. And Spirit's kind of like, I need you to do this healing. I need you to do this healing. So let's see what this healing is all about. I won't be shocked if a Five of Pentacles comes out. Some abandonment issues. So we have a Six of Wands in reverse and a Two of Pentacles. It's almost like they can't accept that this is not going to be a victorious connection, that this is not going to go anywhere. It's not, it's not going to be what they want it to be. And they're not accepting that. And that's what needs to be healed, right? The two of pentacles. It's like, what do you mean? It's not working. What do you mean? It's not victorious. What do you need? What do you mean that we, we can't make it go anywhere further? Six of wands is also a card of recognition. It's like, they want to be recognized for all the effort there. Yeah. Spirit's like, no. Can you let this fall down? Can, can you please, before I have to smash it with the damn tower, Hulk smash kind of status? That's what's going on here. With the tower, Mars, Aries, Scorpio energy, Six of Wands, Leo energy, and the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. With the tower coming in, that spirit literally saying, it's time to allow this to come down. The, the foundation of this connection is not sound, it's not stable, and it's not of this person's highest good or of your highest good, depending on who you, well, it's not a, of anybody's highest good in the situation, right? If it has to come down, it's not serving either party involved to their highest good, and healing has to be done here, okay? 
Let's get one more on the Four of Swords because I'm a nosy rosy. And now we got a tower. Yep, Four of Cups in reverse. And the Fool in reverse. And the Eight of Swords. And the High Priestess. They have massive illusion of this new beginning. And that's, it's them daydreaming. Look what came out here. This is, and they're just resisting dealing with this rejection. Four of Cups in reverse is the card of rejection. It is the card of rejection of, a, of the heart space not being open to receiving what they've been offered, what they've been given, right? And it's kind of like, well, now I want your love. You, you, did, you didn't want to accept it before, but now I want it because now I can't have it. So you might have rejected this person and now they're coming back because they can't have you kind of energy. Four of Cups, Cancer energy. But now we have the High Priestess, the Fool in reverse, the Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups is literally the card of daydreaming. The Eight of Swords overthinking about this risk, the Fool, this new beginning, with the card of illusions, the High Priestess. So they're all over here with this illusion, this daydream that you two are gonna come back together for this fantastical Seven of Cups, brand new beginning, daydreaming in their, ha in their head, fantasizing about this. Instead of just dealing and healing, from this rejection that they need to address. So Uranus energy with the Fool, Eight of Swords, Gemini energy, Seven of Cups, Scorpio, whoa, almost said Pisces, Scorpio energy, and then Pisces energy with the High Priestess. I was like, why do I keep wanting to say Pisces? And I was like, oh, High Priestess is in my hand. It's like, it's not Pisces, it's not Pisces. <laughs> okay, let's look at the sun. Yeah, see, and what's stopping them, what's stopping them from the change, from moving forward, is realizing what's actually going to make them happy, is finding this happiness within themselves. Finding this healing within themselves, this aha moment, this realization that you don't find validation. Yep, Nine of Swords, the Emperor taking control, the Chariot, Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Ten of Cups. When they stop fighting for this connection, when they stop fighting for all of this and they accept that it's not moving forward and they basically mourn the loss of this connection, Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, Jupiter energy, and Sagittarius energy with the Wheel of Fortune, Seven of Wands, Leo energy, and the Ten of Cups, Pisces energy, when they mourn and accept that this connection isn't moving forward and they allow themselves to feel the emotions they feel from the loss of it, that's when they can embody a very divine masculine energy and move forward on their path. Look at all the major arcanas came out. And that's what brings them in alignment to their happiness and to their illumination, to enlightenment, to a higher consciousness. Woo! So if you're this Knight of Cups, congratulations, you're going to a very nice place. If you're dealing with the Knight of Cups, congratulations, you're helping somebody ascend to a very nice place and you served a very important role in their path. It's a very heavy reading. <clears throat> Got a lot of heavy readings this week. But Sag, this is what I have for you. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please like, share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. And I will be back really soon after my move. I won't have internet until the 5th. So it'll be a while till you guys see me. But I'll be chatting when I can. Okay? I love you. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.